So over here to the left of me, I have a professional wireless systems LPDA over there. Okay, so I have my antenna. Now we're in the same polarization because that was uh, vertically. So now if I start to move this, we can start to see the signal drop. Again, it's not going to be completely uh, at 90 degrees. It's not going to be an infinite amount of loss because we're bouncing off this wall. We're bouncing off all kinds of objects around me. And each time we bounce, we can actually shift a little bit. But, so what I'm going to show you today is something called a time domain reflectometer. What this does, it's basically like a radar. It sends a pulse down the, uh, the transmission line because we input a velocity factor. So it knows how fast the wave is moving. And if it runs into any discontinuities along the line, it's going to show us that. So I'm going to show how easy it is to actually kind of break one of these. There it is. So right here, this little, this little kind of dip is the connector. But we can see that all the way along the length of the cable, see this scale right here is our impedance, and this scale right here uh, is our feet. We're very smooth. We're around, this one's about 52 ohms, which is typical for this type of cable. And this little jump right here, uh, this is the connector at the end. I have a similar line over here that has some problems in it. So here we see these two dips. So this is gonna be a kink in the cable. That's gonna be maybe a case at the cable, maybe you're wrapping at the end of the night and it's snagged on something or a stage hand yanked it and kind of bent it. This is what I'm talking about when we, when we bend that dielectric and we break it. And so now while our impedance is only showing maybe a uh, two ohm shift, 